Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how you can make pumpkin mac and cheese three different ways. So I, I realize that macaroni and cheese requires macaroni, but here's the thing. Spiral pasta, the sauce gets stuck in the spirals, So now you can let your pasta cook and make your sauce, which is the easiest cheese sauce you will ever make, ever. All you have to do is add cornstarch or flour to some almond milk. So I'm adding some garlic powder, whisking that together. Over a medium heat, you can add a tablespoon of vegan butter. When your butter starts to cook, you can add your flour, cornstarch, almond milk mixture. I'm going to add some salt. We're going to add some Dijon mustard. Then we're going to add pumpkin to our pumpkin cheese sauce. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast and just mix that together. So for our first version of pumpkin mac and cheese, we're going to make a fun sage garnish. So just add like a couple tablespoons of coconut oil. Okay, so when your coconut oil is heated, what you're going to do is just take the leaves of sage, and you can do like, woo, see that happens. Just put them in the oil, and do like eight at a time. Okay, so the first mac and cheese that you can make for your guests is just simple noodles, pumpkin cheese sauce, and just toss it, put it in your then you have this cute little mac and cheese. You can take your sage garnishes, which are now crispy, and top. Option two is a baked mac and cheese, and this is probably my favorite. So I'm just going to add the noodles, some sauce, obviously. Just mix that around. So like a traditional mac and cheese that's baked. We're going to add some breadcrumbs. And then I also like to add some nutritional yeast. And then just put this in the oven at like 400 for like 20 minutes. Ooh, okay. 20 minutes later, we have this baked mac and cheese goodness. Ooh, see? It's all like cheesy and crunchy. So option number three, Mix your mac and cheese really well with the sauce. Then you can bake a sweet potato. And then I cut it in half and took out a little bit of the sweet potato inside. Then you can just fill your sweet potato with the pumpkin mac and cheese. So now you know how to make pumpkin mac and cheese three different ways. The question is, which one's the best? Okay, so I'm going to try this baked one first. It's really good. It's like cheesy. It has a day in there, so it's kind of like creamy. This one wasn't baked, it was just tossed, and then we put the garnish on top. Hmm. This one is a little bit lighter, but has a nice like herby flavor. Baked sweet potato on its own is pretty good, but I think this. This one's a little bit sweeter than the other two because it has the sweet potato. I think. And there you have it. Pumpkin mac and cheese, three different ways. Make sure that you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and have a good Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Candace. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Do you like snacks? I know I do. So make sure that you subscribe before you leave. It's just a little button down there, and you can watch this snacks playlist right here. I'm gonna put it right in there. I mean, this is like a really fun thing to do when you're hungover.